we're live at five. Are we live? We're, we're, we're on, trying on, this again. On Tuesday, July the 26th, with David Yazbek. David Yazbek's here. Very My favorite. David guest. Yazbek. Sneak peek. Sneak peek. David Yazbek. That's a teaser. It's only the trailer's a teaser. Right. Will Chase. Okay. You so, saw something rotten last yeah, so night. Yes, I, I saw something rotten last night. An amazing new... I love this show. I mean, this show is super funny, right? You yeah, like yeah, it, too. Yeah, I, mean, I did, yes. Even, Brit, even Brits like it. Yes, it's, it's written British, by a Brit. It's all written by Brits. And a lot of, a lot of uh, spoofs of Brits. dad in there, too. Yeah, I don't know. Brits. They were making fun of cats last night. Um, but... Yeah. So, Something Rotten has a great new cast. And Will Chase, who was in Full Monty, David Yasbeck's Full Monty on Broadway, is Shakespeare now. Yeah. And he is amazing. And I said hi to him afterwards, and he told me a secret, which is no longer a secret, which no. is that he's on this new HBO show, An The H Deuce. HBO porn drama. This yes. now, this I'm excited about because <laughs> she, well, do you know the musical The Life? <laughs> you know, do, you, do you know the musical that no, made I the London? No, I don't. Anyway, Cy Coleman's show about like Times Square in the 70s, oh, the porn pimps. Book. And Michael Riedel's book, Basically, yes, he also like illustrated that. it. So this is like an HBO drama set in that world. And uh, Maggie Gyllenhaal, Gyllenhaal, yes. Maggie Gyllenhaal is one of the stars, and Will is, I think, playing her love interest. Okay. Will Chase. So he's filming that while starring in Something Rotten. We, so we love all these stars. Yeah, and he was on Nashville, so you know it's great. He's now, getting a lot of TV work. It's I awesome. think we can now talk about this. Well, yeah, they were supposed to announce news a few minutes ago. At Hopefully five. they did. Hopefully they did. Because we're gonna say Otherwise, it. Otherwise, oops. So Michael Campa Campano, Campano, who was in School of Ro so someone says it's got Sound and Music Live. And he played that guy, the Nazi with the shorts, the Nazi one. Yeah, yeah. Rolf. He, uh, Rolf, Rolf. Rolf. Is that correct, David? Yes. Is that correct? I don't know. I don't like musicals. <laughs> it's, it's Rolf. David it's Rolf. I wrote, it's Rolf. I've just edited the uh, story. He is now going to be Thero. I'm and Robert. wicked. And on he board. knows of tight pants because there was a lot of social media action yeah. during Sound and Music Live yeah. about Rolf's tight pants. Yes. So. So, I, you know. It's fitting. Typecast. I guess. That sort of works. Maybe he'll be in the Full Monty revival next. Who knows? Who knows? Um, so, sorry if we broke that and weren't meant to. Yeah, anyway, it's exciting. <laughs> he's, 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 okay. he's really great on Sound of Music. So, so congratulations, Congratulations. Michael. All right. So, really sad news. Um, Super sad. And big, huge, boring news today. Uh, Jimmy Needlelander, senior, um, has died at the age of 94. Owned, of course, uh, nine, Total Broadway, nine Broadway theaters. Um, I mean, yeah. And uh, revolutionized the industry. Um, so very sad. News you know, when I was reading Razzle Dazzle, 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 Dazzle yeah, which which book. really tells his yeah. whole story and the Nederlanders and the Schuberts and all of that, I remember when I was reading it thinking, oh my God, it's amazing that he's still around yeah. because his history went back so far. So extraordinary. So, yeah, such a huge part of. Uh, so Broadway sad day for Broadway. At the bit is up, and people like Hugh Jackman and obviously my dad have been tweeting. Um, and I know that Dad will want to pay tribute to him at the Every Night of Cats on Sunday because it's it's just very very sad news for all that knew him. Um, so moving on to happier topics, um, another Broadway star getting more TV stuff. Renee Elise Goldsberry is to star opposite Oprah, of all people, in Why the Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks for HBO. And she's also got her next. I remember Netflix that book. That's gig. a book I think. Yeah, I it that was book. a book. Yeah. And yeah, she's yeah, also yeah. got a Netflix gig coming up. Um, and she's everybody has a Netflix show. She's expected to leave Hamilton in the fall, but she is still in Hamilton at the moment, everybody. Yeah. Um, okay, this is difficult pronunciations here. No, it, it seems like every day we get an embargo. When you get an embargoed yeah. press release, that means that you can't r run it until a certain time. Like, like our son, our wicked things. So every day we get embargoed press releases about actresses I don't know who are going to star in Les Liaisons Stance Rose. So we got another well one said. tonight. Well said. I don't um, know her. Elena Camporis is going to play, play she, Cecile she Bollage. She's going to play Cecile, which I think is the Uma Thurman role Uma Thurman from Dangerous Liaisons. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, I know Dangerous Liaisons. And she's really gonna. Well. Uh, uh, oh, and look, Liaisons Broadway just retweeted us. us. That just came up. So anyway, that was that was fun. That was fun. I was just being. Um, anyway, she was in my big fat Greek wedding too, but I didn't see that. That was not a block. Was that a block? Was that did that do well? I don't know. I saw it on my iTunes, and I. Th no, there, there, there was a great big poster outside Sierra's dressing room for a really long time, so that's where I saw it. Oh, because she's a big she's, fan. Of, well, no, no, just because it was. It oh, was oh, outside on the street, on the street, not her decoration. No, no, no. So anyway, congratulations, congratulations. Elena. Can't wait to meet you. Yeah. Okay. Stephen Ashfield will replace or reprise his Olivier-winning performance as Elder McKinley in Book of Mormon from August the twenty-third. He's a Brit. He's a Brit, uh, but another. He Olivia was a Jersey winner. boy, I think. He in was Hollywood, right? in London. Um, yeah. So you got stellar, stellar London person coming in to do that. 
Um, Leah Salonga and Eric Kunz. To, is, Kun, I think it's Kunze. I think it's Kunze. I don't know. I don't know. Gotta be careful with that name. Yeah. Thanks for that, <laughs> David Yazbek. <laughs> uh, we're reading Fun Home in the Philippines. Um, they did Live Miss Together in 1993. Yeah. Uh, Rachel Dratt. Drought, just talking about uh, Dan Rad, um, privacy, that's also in Odds and Ends today. And a new episode of What's New Pussycat, episode seven. And what is, is What's New Pussycat? This is not. Backstage of Cats. Backstage of Cats. Which is opening on Sunday, Sunday night. The Jellicle Moon is shining bright, people. And there might even be a Jellicle Ball after. Right. Okay. I'm off. Uh, let's Before bring this guy, you know. one of my favorite all time, uh, David Yazbek. Ooh. This, Welcome. This this loose side seat is nice and warm. <laughs> Imogen heated it up. Yeah. How you doing? I'm good. It is your birthday, sir. It is my birthday. Now, how do you feel about desserts and, and um, stuff? I I'll I'll be I'll, I will I would do it because there's some options. Oh no! <laughs> we just got we got you some. Uh, I'm Caitlin, about to have dinner. Caitlin but... went out and got you. These oh, are these okay. are from uh, what's it called? Donna Bell's Donna Bell's Bake Shop. Uh, on West 50th Street. <laughs> okay, what we got? Uh, 49th. West 49th. So I don't know if you just want. I'm gonna. I mean, I'll like, have one little bite of. In one honor thing. of you, I'll eat. Oh my god. These look like this is oddly Christmassy. Yeah, that is Christmas. This is a Christmas theme, but I don't think they're old. I think they're I'm fresh. Gonna have like a just little have bite. A, of just this, have a look, and then they're stop eat the rest. thing. I just we just couldn't let David Yazbek's birthday go by. Oh, but then I was actually googling you as you do, and not it's not spelled like Tony Yazbek. This is. This is the real spelling. No C in this one. Yeah. Um, and your birth date is kind of mysterious online. There's a lot of circas. Like your Wikipedia page says circa and then the year. It doesn't, doesn't know your birthday. But today's your birthday. Yeah. Was it a secret? Did we spoil it? or? No. Okay. No. So. I, but I, for some reason I had put the wrong birthday into Facebook and okay. I'd get all these birthday things the, the day wrong. after and, the, and it, <laughs> it almost sent me into a depression last year. So. Well... Let's remind you, sorry, I'm eating. You are a super talented guy. And you, well, first of all, let's get to the point. You're doing some shows, 54 Below. You it's have a live below. act. You have a nightclub act. Can mm. we call it that? What is no. it? No. I have a band. He has a band. Then we, then we it's, a, it's a fairly large band with horn section, and we go and we play a bunch of songs loud, and it's a fun night. That's awesome. I've seen you live before. Um, and you get Broadway guest stars, Adam Cantor, right, from Fiddler? Adam Cantor's going to be our, our guest. Uh, You're doing Friday and Saturday? Yeah. Okay. And on Saturday, we're going to have Katrina Lenk, who is going to star in my next show. Oh, um, so would that be the band's visit? The band's visit. I don't, what is that? What is that band's visit show? What's that about? Uh, it's based on an Israeli film from about 10 years ago. It's about an Egyptian uh, police orchestra who travels to Israel to do a cultural exchange concert mm -hmm. and gets lost. They end up in this tiny sort of settlement town and they have to stay overnight because there's no bus. So these people come together and there's various storylines oh. and uh, uh, it's coming out really nice. I'm very happy with it. So that's playing in the fall. Mm -hmm. And where's that going to be? Atlantic Theater. Off start. Broadway at the Atlantic, right. And you, now you've written some of my favorite shows. You literally, these three shows, uh, Full Monty. I wrote that. Genius. Like, like you know, I, I'll go to like any community theater that does a Full It Monty. does, you know, that's a show that works almost in any. Like anyone can do know, it and it works. Yeah, like, well, yeah. You, like, like an elementary school. Like you talented school. to do it? No, you got, well, it's good when you're talented, but it's still, it's still sort of fun anywhere you see it. I think. Oh. Yeah. Dirty on Scoundrels. Much harder to do anywhere, but. Thank mm -hmm. you. Glad you need the right people to do that one. And then um, that woman on the verge, which I know you, you like did it, it didn't run very long on Broadway. No, I think we made some mistakes and then we rectified the mistakes in right. England. Like uh, the like and you, yeah, the creative team. You guys all kind of we worked you, real hard. Art share and yep. you did it over there and and we came up you with fixed it. We think we really fixed it. I'd like to. Would you like to bring it back to I New would, York? I would love to bring it back somewhere like the Ham or mm. you know somewhere that's not Broadway. Yeah. Um, do it sort of small. Maybe it could shift over. But I'm so happy with what we came up with. Mm -hmm. It's such a strong show. I wish. Uh, I wish someone would do it. That would be great. Um, you're also writing Tootsie, which is a project that I've been sort of obsessing I, over for a while. Are you not? I'm not supposed to talk about it, so I can't say anything about that. He's not. I'm saying nothing about it. But you know what? Here's the thing about... Here's what's, here's what's frustrating about, as a fan of you. There, I've heard you, you... You talk about a lot of projects over the years. 
your name gets it. I remember, weren't you doing like a car wash? Well, this happens with everybody. <laughs> uh, no. A car wash I wanted. And then you would do like a, After Full Monty, I, was, I, I put it out wash? there that I wanted the rights to car wash. I tried to get them from Universal for go. years and years and years. Never. But could you, you just write like a knockoff version that wasn't quite car wash? I had this just this idea of what to do with the with okay. the original flawed storyline. Okay. So, yeah. So that couldn't happen. It, and then you did. Were you doing like a Bruce Lee musical? Were yeah. You making this up? No. I mean, yeah. Yeah, Mark like, Sharon and I and 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 other people were working on a, a, a Bruce Lee musical for a couple of years, and uh, we did a I think we did a first act for ourselves, a big presentation, and it was cool and it looked great, and it just, I, I felt like we weren't honoring Bruce Lee, so I, mm. um, you, 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 know. you put into it. You just, it I didn't put, no, we, uh, yeah, I don't remember how it sort of ended, but that was a tough, that was a tough one. There's some good songs, though. <laughs> you, you, well, yeah, you write great songs, so I, I, I want demos of these things or something. Are these songs? Maybe I'll do, do one of those albums where you just do the songs you never used or something. Yeah, that'd be good. There's a lot of them. There's, yeah, there's and there's a lot of great performers that love singing your, your music, too. I mean, you've worked with so many great people now that we love. Like, oh, that was a segue. Yeah, yeah that, was a segue. that was a good one, too, I don't know. man. <laughs> wow, you're good at this. Uh, yeah, you yeah, have. I have. I work, yeah. yeah, I remember you, I saw Pine Lapone do one of your concerts. That was fun. She, how great was she to work with a woman on the verge? Did you guys click? Yeah, we... Because uh, you're both such great We love each personalities. other. Personalities. And she's guested with my band, and um, she will come and show up and sing with us at a, the drop of a hat because we really like to sing together. Um, and she does a song of mine that's never been in a show that's like one of my band songs that she heard us do. Oh, wow. Um, and then she said, can, can I do this? I was like, what am I going to say? <laughs> I mean, of course you can do it. So, yeah, Patty's a... Wow. A, Patty, I really... I'd love to work with her again on the show. So what gets you about like an idea, like with a band's visit? What about that story made you go, this? because you've obviously played around with a lot of different stories now, and some are based on very well-known movies, right? And this is a probably more obscure movie. Well, this is, I mean, you know, Full Monty came, came to me, and that I had to sort of be a little talked into, because I'd never yeah, done a musical. Yeah, because your whole shtick during that time was you're like, I'm just a rock and roll guy, I just have to be writing a Broadway, and you just said it, like, I hate Broadway musicals. <laughs> Meanwhile, you write great Broadway musicals. Thank you. I don't, I don't really hate Broadway musicals, but any genre of anything, 98% is crappy, unless you just love everything about it, you know? Right. If you love everything about baseball, even the worst game is just the greatest thing in the world. Right. I'm not like that. So, um, I wasn't a big enough fan of Broadway musicals to be that guy who, when the curtain's going up, you're like, magic! Magic! I'm just happy to be here. I'm more like, boy, this better be good, because I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> it's expensive. But, uh, you know, Full Monty, Full Monty I, I realized, oh, I can write songs about these characters. Mm -hmm. Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, it was like, let me try to be, because I was a comedy writer before anything, yeah. let me try to be as funny as I can in, a, in songs. That was the sort of challenge and yeah. the fun of it. Um, Women on the Verge was interesting, because it was, that was Jeffrey Lane's idea, and right. he was saying, like, this is, we're going to write about love, and we're going to write about relationships. And I was like, oh. We are <laughs> okay, and that right. was exciting also because of the the the, the Spanish you know yeah. kind of music. Yeah. And this is exciting to me, the band's visit, because it's about uh, the connection between what 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 appears to be very disparate tribes, you know, people. Mm -hmm. um, although, if you know, you know, the truth is, if you're Arab, if you're Jewish, you're a Semite. You know, you're like uh -huh. you're very closely, you know, under right under the surface, but. There's this idea that there's this ocean of connection, of love between everybody, and using music as a metaphor for that is so powerful. As soon as I saw the movie, I knew I wanted to do it, even though it looked like pretty challenging to adapt. And that's why I did. That's why I did it. And also, I love. I've been a fan of you know, a lot of different kinds of Arabic music for a long time. So I got to sort of dip my dip my toe into that stuff too. Alex wants to know, other than Hamilton. You can ignore that part if you want. What is your favorite Broadway show of all time? Oh, so Alex is telling me that Hamilton is yeah. my favorite. <laughs> well, yeah, which is which is hilarious to me. <laughs> so, that's what you. It's got to be everybody's favorite show. <laughs> my favorite show. When people ask me that, I, it's very hard for me to answer that with almost anything else. What's your favorite jazz album? What's your, mm -hmm. with a show? I always say Guys and Dolls because mm. it is the every note, every lyric, every. Bit of it in, and every joke and story is perfect. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite musical. 
I'll say it till I die. That's my do, favorite. Do you go see amateur productions of your musicals like I do? <laughs> <laughs> or I'll just keep going and report back to you. I no, I don't see many. I think I've seen one amateur production of any of my shows. Really? And it's really just because I don't want to sit and watch a show usually, especially a show I know. <laughs> do you ever go to you Broadway know? shows? Uh, yes. You do. Yes, I do. Anything you saw recently that like, like impressed you um, or like. Other I, people you're, you're wowed by, or I saw Oslo. I thought that was wonderful. Mm. I thought Bart Share did a lovely Very job with brow. that. Is That's pretty brow? highbrow for me. Well, I saw Bart, it. And Bart Share, your buddy wrote it. My directed buddy, it. Directed my buddy directed it. it. Yeah. Um, Hades Town, which was off Broadway, I think was really lovely. Just final like, week down there, I think at New York Theater Workshop. Um, I haven't seen it yet. Oh, but I God, to. you gotta go see it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, really, really interesting. Good song. She's a really good songwriter. I, that's what I listen for first. Is Good songwriting. Yeah. Um, I know there's other stuff I saw that I. Oh, you know, Color Purple. Mm -hmm. I thought was really strong, mm -hmm. really good, and I was surprised because I had seen it the first time and I didn't remember being that impressed, but I really thought it was great. Um, I'm sure there's. I mean, obviously Hamilton was like. Big, big for me. Obviously, the best show ever. Josh wants to know what show <laughs> of yours, and I know the answer to this, would Adam Cantor be right for? Maybe a Fomonti revival? You could put him in one of those roles. I What's think, going on with this, David? Is anyone doing a Fomonti revival? Well, I've been, or is it just something I think about all no, the time? No, you know, I've got to be really honest. It feels like it's time because yes. people like you are always telling me. Yeah. And then I talk to you know friends of mine who are directors or friends of mine who are producers, and... Um, you know, I don't want to push too hard, but I think it's time for a Monty revival. Yeah, I think Adam Cantor would be great. I mean, I to tell you the truth, I didn't I didn't know Adam Cantor well until we just did a he was in a reading of this okay. band's visit, uh -huh. and um, I feel like he's one of those guys who can do almost anything. So mm -hmm. I think he would be. I could see him in any one of these of my shows if there was a revival. I agree with yeah. that. Maybe he could play uh, Danny Burstein's wacky cab driver in. Uh, but not the birds. Why not? He could do anything. Yeah. Uh, uh, David loves your work. Uh, Verge closed way too soon. If you could pick any topic to write a musical about, what would it be? Well, the band's visit. Well, I didn't pick that though. They came oh, okay. to me. Um, Fulmonte was in London, Lauren. By the way, it was on the West End with Will Chase. Correct. Did Did Will do it with the Broadway? I think Will came. After it got it got confusing. I think he came into Broadway when they went to. Oh London. right, right, right. Okay. I think okay, he was the okay. first one who came, okay. who replaced Patrick Wilson on Broadway. That's uh, my memory of it. So, but yeah, is there any topic that you're sort of? I mean, you've obviously picked on a lot of topics, but what are you gonna do? What, what's your next? I don't know. Do you like get inspired? Do you wake up and go, I should do that, or do you? I get inspired about s things to write songs about, things to write musicals about. I'm Jeffrey Lane. Jared and Emick I, did it in the West End. Correct. You're right. Oh, that's right, Jared. Of Jared Emick. We brought yeah, him. Yeah, of course. Um, Jeffrey Lane came, and I are talking about um, we're beginning something. Who you wrote Dirty Rotten Scoundrels and Women of the Birds? Yeah, with him. and yeah. we're beginning something that was an idea of mine years ago that we're sort of re-looking into, and it has something to do with science and lost innocence, and those are two things that I, I don't know why, just love. I love writing about both those things. Um, you have to get this car wash idea out of your head. It's never going to happen. Dave. <laughs> it's. it's Car wash isn't gonna happen. That's that's gone. So that's the answer to my your question is is and it changes all the time. Okay. Death is my is one, probably my favorite topic, and I'm also thinking about something involving. I think it. I think my favorite overture of all time is either the Carousel Waltz or Dirty Rides or 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 Full Monty. Monty. Full Monty, Yeah. Da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da I just rehearsed that with my band. We'll be doing that at 54. Ah, oh, there you go. Friday, Friday and Saturday, Saturday night. night. You're going to do that? Oh, yeah, we'll, oh, do, man, it. Definitely. we'll do it. We'll do um, it. That's, by the way, really fun to hear an amateur band play. <laughs> the a little slower. The, a little slower. Yeah, that's fun. It just sort of extends it. It's just a little it's longer. It's that's more, funny. More pleasure. Because right, it's straight out of the canon. Remember, could it's Grains be conducting that on Broadway? Is that who it was? Well, that's that's whose back it was that I kept seeing <laughs> jumping up and down. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I adore your talents, um, and so people from below, people should come, and there's like good food and cocktails. And I w 54, they gave me dinner last time I was there. And <laughs> free dinner? Oh, it was free dinner for uh -oh. me, and man, was it good. I mean, I really thought it was a good dinner, and usually a club's <laughs> dinner sucks. So 54 below, it's worth getting dinner there. The food is actually good. It. Yeah, um, it's the middle of the summer, don't go to the beach. 
come to see us play 54 Below Friday and Saturday, please. And you're always going to keep doing more gigs. He's also highly amusing on Twitter and with his eyebrows. Yeah, follow uh, me on Twitter. You can play that guy in Contact. Do you ever see Contact? The, I can do like I can do entire guy. choreographed routine. <laughs> I love that. That's so weird. Um, I can do stuff with my eyes, too. Oh, my God. Stop. No, yeah. no. My wife, if I'm mad at my wife and do that, that'll get her. She'll run screaming. So you're going out for a big birthday dinner now? Yeah, my son and I are going to go out somewhere and have a nice dinner. Nice. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. Uh, like I said, I'm a huge fan. I can't wait for the band's visit. And what else? You're, anything else you're writing that we can't talk about? I'm excited for all of it. <laughs> and I hope that they hope that comes to fruition. I hope, I hope some of these things I really want to see come to fruition. But the band's visit is definitely happening. And 54 Below is definitely happening Friday and Saturday night. And there's good food. Yep. And, and drinks. And good loud music. And your band is like awesome. They're the best musicians in the you've city. Been, you've been working with them forever, right? Most of them, yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're. I, I can't. I'm not hyperbolizing when I say these are the best musicians I've ever played with. Great, great grooves. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, it's worth it. Awesome. So go check it out, everybody, and we'll see you tomorrow at five. Bye.